Oh, are you doing the intro then, or, or not? Do I play? I mean, you can if you want. I'll just play uh, this mic, I think. Okay. Single um, player, because I'm on my own. No mates. Oh, yeah, you want. Oh, I'm going. Right, so... Oh, come on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options. Yeah, I, I, I have a couple things here. Right, I'll go through. First of all, hello, this is Doddy, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit special today. I'm here with Uncle Paul. Dad. Otherwise, Dad. Yes. Yeah. Nearly. And we, I'm going to teach him. How to play Minecraft. Now it's going to be... Hide and seek says that. Yeah, we, we're going to start off with you creating a world and then when we get more complex stuff we're going to teach you how to do a bit of parkour but it's a long map and we'll just do a little bit of it and then we'll see your creativity where so you I guess that parkour is, is a bit like Great British Bake Off parkour, is it? Yeah? Similar, yeah. Okay, let's go. Alright, so if you go create new world at the bottom there. There you go. Yep. And then you can just type in your world like that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You do that then, right? So if I put my hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna look down a little bit first. There, there oh, you yeah. go. Sometimes tend to run away a little bit. Oh, you're there now. They have something called hitboxes, so even if you look at it, you'll only detect that you're hitting it at a certain point. Oh, look down then at it. You want to just drag your mouse down like that. So I actually see this little. And this little dot, ah, you, right. you want to actually have the cross on where you're looking. So that's basically like your aim. Oh, piggy, you're going to be breakfast. I mean, it's a sheep, but yeah, that will do. do. Oh, and on. then space is the jump. Oh, hang on, no, okay. no, tell me. Oh, there's a pig I can beat up here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Getting those resources. Sheep are useful because if you don't want to have monsters in the middle of the night, such as zombies, skeletons, and stuff like that, then you can make a bed which you get wool from the sheep. You get um, wool from the sheep? Yeah. Oops. So if you get three wool, oh, there you go, you got one. Oh, there's and one. And you got two. You just need to, uh, you just need one more wool now. So if you want to hold down um, on, on a tree, just hold down left click. There we go, and then go and collect that block by just walking near it. There we go, and then just punch that one as well. Then you can look up now at the tree before that you just punched there. Right then, you see that little spot there? It's a miracle. <laughs> I know, trees float in this game. Right, so if you carry on punching them. Sometimes I go right on the tree, which is easier to see all. I'll sort that out for you. Hang, hang, hang on. Okay, right. Not quite pinched me yet. So if you go and just... There you go. And then you can put those other the two there as well. There you go. Now you can... Collect that wood from the thing because obviously you don't need that anymore. Then obviously you put down the crafting table now. Can you, now can you see it has a 3x3 three three grid. There you go. I'm going to walk forward because you can only hit it from a certain distance. There we go. So now we've got all three woods. So if you want to place down your crafting table and collect the bed there, and then just drag it in your hotbar. Now if you exit out of the crafting table, uh, you've got a bed. So when it becomes night, you can uh, now get, um, you can now 
obviously sleep and get past the monsters like that. Now you made sticks, okay? So two uh, oak planks equals four sticks. So you go ahead and collect those sticks. Uh, grids there. So you need one more. That's a hoe, so that I uh, will just collect crops. Uh, now if you go ahead and click that pickaxe there. Then, so now you've got a pickaxe that will help you to mine stuff. There you go. Now you made a sword. That's a craft recipe for a sword. So if you go ahead and get that. Now you can exit out the crafting table once more. <laughs> now you press an E. And now obviously it's night time. So if you right click on your bed. You can see that you now obviously are skipping the night. Which is useful. So if you go over. Um, and just collect your stuff. Just break them. Like crafting table in your bed. You might want to walk forward when you uh, jump. Sometimes it might be easy to use your sword. So if I go over to there, it will just do better damage. I wanted to make it suffer, but you've got a sword, so it works. There you go. Yeah. I've actually got a bit of leather. Oh, hang on. <laughs> You're going to find a lot of this. There you go. There you go, you've got some chicken now. Chicken. Uh... You don't want to eat the raw chicken no. because that will obviously. Uh, no. <laughs> Is that your main goal now, just to kill all the animals? Oh, what's that one? No. <laughs> this is this what's about, it? Kind of. Oh, oh. oh, wait, stop there a minute. No. You... <laughs> right, so you found the cave here. If you just go down a couple blocks. Just where you see the stone, it don't walk down any further. What's that? That was a skeleton. You don't want to go near that yet, okay? Killing. Cheating. You can, but he will attack you. Now, if you see the furnace there, that's popped up. Mm -hmm. so if you click on that, that will help you to cook your food. So if you just exit out of the table again, just place the furnace somewhere near you. Right there, or not close to the box. If you go there, go to the furnace. Right. So if you right click on the furnace, now you've got full hunger here, so you're not hungry. Uh, you've got full hearts as well, and you're level 1 experience, or well, nearly 1 and a half. Now, uh, this is where you're probably going to encounter your first battle, right? Then, and after your first battle, that's the end of the uh, demo 1. Okay. We'll, we'll do a little bit of parkour after that, right? Sleeping. Sleepy, right? I'm sleepy. Okay, so if you just walk down a little bit there, go onto your I'll go and then just there you go, just keep on attacking it. You might want to dodge the arrows. There you go, walk forwards towards him. You got two there, that's not good. There you go. Hey, there you go. Now oh you managed to kill one, that was good, right? We go on to title screen now. So if you jump like that. Let me just do I'll just do a little command a minute, just um, so it'll, so it'll be day, so if you just look at them like that. Oh, that's rubbish, isn't it? try shifting if you press the shift hold shift actually hold it now walk forwards don't jump oh there you go now hold shift just walk forwards don't jump pretend you're going to walk off the edge but keep on holding shift look down you see that no matter how far you walk over you can't fall off mm -hmm. that's because you're holding shift you're crouching now so you can't uh, so you can't like fall off anything when you crouch so that might help you there oh, close sometimes I want to get right to the edge of the block oh a dog's going mad let me see the dog a sec nice hello Let's see if I can try and green screen this thing out. Hmm?
Hey, you put the top there. There you go, walk forwards. There you go, shift so you don't fall. <coughs> now you can just make you can just make your way around that. Or do you want to stop there now? <coughs> stop, the excitement's killing me. Okay, so how was your experience then? Oh. Tiring. Tiring. Tiring, yeah, but tiring. I don't you, you did good here. for the start, right? Well done. So do you want to just do outro, remember, nope. like, subscribe, comment, that kind of stuff? Like, subscribe, comment, define daddy, YouTube, go, in, bye. Okay, so that was teaching my dad how to play Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed that, guy. It's just a little bit of different video this time. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.